All right, how's everyone doing today? Uh, I've got a uh, update for you here. This is like update number three or four. I'm not sure. Um, so they've got the siding on and they've got the covering uh, for the plywood, the uh, Rex wrap. Um, it's a weather resistant barrier. They got some of the framing started on the roof and uh, a bunch of braces. I'll walk with you guys inside here to show you. Um, the roof is not all the way complete as far as the framing goes there's a couple there's some area over there they got to finish up uh I, I know they have not had a whole lot of time because it's been raining so um not a lot of uh work has been done the last day or two we've had some storms come through so uh that's the living room area so i don't know if you guys can tell but in the roof or the ceiling part of the living room right here uh, there's gonna be like a raised area that is gonna make the living room look a little bit bigger uh, and they've got that the same sort of setup going on in the dining room which is right here you can see the the raised area right right here um, and then the same thing goes for the master bedroom which is right here. I gotta watch it because I'm wearing flip-flops like a dummy and I've already stepped on two nails. Um, <laughs> so I'm just trying to, you know, check up on things and see if there's anything major that they need to fix or correct or anything like that. So, um, like I said, there's a lot of temporary bracing going on and some of the stuff like in the roof uh, right there I don't know if that's permanent. I know there's like some sort of railing going on that I think is going to be for the air conditioner and heating system. Uh, not totally sure yet. But yeah, they just got a lot of uh, bracing uh, going on and temporary uh, wood that's put up. And the back porch area is starting to look a lot more like a, like a porch. Uh, it's going to be covered, um, which I'm actually a lot more excited about this back porch than I thought I would be. I know it sounds really maybe not that important to some people, but I this is going to be awesome where I can have a cookout station, you know, put my griddle like right around here, maybe have like a smoker over here or something like that. Uh, and then we're going to have like a back table with some chairs and, and we'll be able to overlook the pond. And it's it's really dirty, of course. You know, it's a construction site. Uh, hopefully, they'll clean up some. Hopefully, they'll have it all cleaned up by the time they're finished. So, I know there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, right now, I'm in the server, my server room closet. Um, I haven't totally decided how I'm going to start running the cables because I'm thinking about how I'm going to do it. So, uh, I know it's not too important in here because. Um, you know, I may just go through the ceiling and the roof for uh, easy access. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go into the wall and then up. Because in here it's not, you know, it doesn't need to be pretty inside of the closet. Um, of course, then if you look at the living room area, really our only options for putting a TV is going to be against that wall right there. Because over there it's the front door, the two... Uh, the two windows and then we've got a big window right here so really our only option is on that wall which is fine so I'm gonna start thinking about how I wanna maybe add some conduit in there to give you know easy access for Ethernet or something like that oh one thing I do want to touch on which I just thought about it when I started looking at it back here cuz I guess I just sort of spaced out and I didn't know that the porch was going to be covered like I knew that but I forgot so anyway what I was thinking about doing is putting some outdoor speakers out here and then what I'll do is I'll run the speaker cable into the server closet and I'll put in like a Bluetooth stereo receiver so you can just connect to it through your phone and play whatever it is that you want to play like a you know like a high-powered uh, Bluetooth receiver of some sort and then that way you know when you're back here you know working on the lawn or whatever cooking out whatever so 
Yeah, I'm just kind of rambling on. I'm, I'm, this is, it's at a, it's at a stage where it's starting to look a lot more like a house. So a lot more ideas are flowing through my head about what I want to do and setups and all of that. So, um, yeah, there's just this, and I was, you know, looking for different, uh, issues and stuff that I found. Like, it's not anything major. There's just little tiny things here and there. Like, this piece of wood is kind of bent. They didn't use a straight piece. I know that's probably not terribly important, but uh, just little things like that here and there. Um, and then this is the what's going to be our office. And I'm not totally sure how I want to run the Ethernet cable in here. Um, you know, I've got options. I told them whenever we were doing the um, original drawings and all of that that I wanted the main power panel to be in this office uh, because it's you know it's going to be like a not really a utility place but it's going to be an office so it doesn't need to look you know fantastic um, so the I know the electrical panel is going to go somewhere on this wall and then they're going to run the main power in through somewhere over there um, so I don't know if I'm going to put an ethernet line on this wall on what wall or, or whatever so I'm just going to have to think about it maybe do some of my own drawings and see what would be the best um, so yeah it's there's not really a whole lot to update right now other than they started on the roof framing got some of the out exterior walls up um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for now. I guess I'll go ahead and end it here. Okay, so here's the outside. Um, it's got yellow siding on it right now, but ignore that because it's not painted yet. It still has to be painted. We're going with a, a gray, I believe. Uh, so yeah, here's the entryway. So they've got some of the siding and the under, uh, under vents for the roof. Uh, here's our little column piers, whatever you want to call them. Here's the front door. They're not done with all of the siding. They still got a bunch of siding that they need to take care of. So uh, let's boost this ISO here. So yeah, they've got the roof on. Uh, they've got some, so like this water line over here, that's one for the outside uh, faucet. Uh, there's another outside faucet over here in the corner of the living room, which is leading outside to the porch. Right there. And then, yeah. So, they've got some windows in. Uh, they have a little bit of issues. So, like, this screen was messed up. i got to let the contractor know, actually, the whole little unit there is messed up and then this one in the kitchen area which this is where the fridge would go uh, right here because there's the water line for the fridge and then this window right here is messed up because on this side it is very hard to open very hard I'm kind of out of breath because it was hot up there in the attic uh, so kind of some issues that I've run into so far is but like those that I just pointed out, uh, there's a couple areas like this board was taken out right here. I'm not sure if they did that on purpose. You know, there's a couple bent boards here and there. And then when I came to this area uh, to figure out why there was water over here, they uh, turned on the water, hooked it up, and then it was leaking on one of the cold sides right there you can see it dripping I've already turned the water off so it's just dripping the residual that was left in the lines um, but it was leaking right there so I've got to call the contractor and let him know so they've got some of the uh, or some of they've got the tubs installed uh, aquatic brand I don't know if that's any good I don't know anything about tubs I just use them to clean myself that's it this is a vent so they're I'm assuming they're gonna put like some sort of electrical vent or something like that right there um, there's a register for the air conditioner um, well then actually here's two more boards that were removed I'm wondering if they did some of this on purpose yeah I bet that's what it was they did it on purpose 
showers through. Get back to what I was saying. So there's the outside lines that go to the outside air unit. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can show you guys anything else here. Okay, so right now I'm on the attic, attic part of the new house build, and they just got done. Let me position myself here because there's not a lot of place to walk on. Uh, they just they got done putting in the air conditioner. It's a carrier, so I've got three return uh, registers. So there's one in the hallway over there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there's one in the master bedroom, and there's one in the other hallway for the secondary bedrooms. And then uh, they've got the cables ran for the thermostat, which I will be putting in at some point. So, yeah, I'm just taking a look up in the attic part of it right now. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking around, checking stuff out, making sure I don't see any errors or anything like that. So, I'm going to go back down and show you guys around. So, here's a big register return right here in the hallway. And then they've got this... So this is a main hot water line. So we've got one going to the sink in the second bathroom and then one going to this, obviously. So, and then down there is the drain for the, gosh, I cannot talk. It is the drain for the tub in this area. So, second bedroom, second bedroom. It seems so dark with these like dark walls and everything. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to change when we have drywall and sheetrock and we are going to paint it and it'll look a lot better. So, um, not really much else to update. You know, here's the office. You know, they got a register up there. Not too much to really talk about or update. Living room. So, I've been thinking a lot. On the living room situation um, what I've been thinking about doing obviously so here is the that's the door to go to the backyard and then probably like right here in this area is where we're gonna put the couch it's gonna face that wall where the TV and the entertainment center is going to go what I'm thinking about doing is gonna put a couple PVC pipes going up to the top and then I'm gonna put some going across between these boards so that I can run speaker wire and then have like some wall outlet jacks. That way I can change out speakers if I want to and have, you know, easy access to be able to move stuff around if I want. So that's that, um, obviously. And then also have networking come down uh, and then I'll have to do the same thing in some other areas. Now, one thing I am going to have to do uh, at, some point, at some point is buy a couple plywood board, particle board, or something like that, put it in the attic so I have a decent raceway or walking area to go across so that I can get to the server room. So, yeah. So, there's not really a whole lot to update in the kitchen as far as this goes. Uh, like I said, there's the water line for the uh, refrigerator for your ice maker and all that. And then here's the hot water station, hot water heater station. So we've got our cold water that's going to come in. We've got our shutoff valve for the inside. And then our outputs go into the rest of the house. Uh, we've got, uh, so here's the washer and dryer station. Uh, it's pretty simple. We've got the drain. The only thing I don't like, which I probably would have done this differently had I thought about it a little bit more. It's always kind of been this thing where you've always had your washer on the left side and your dryer on the right side. And they've got this thing going up to the top where the dryer goes out to the roof, which I guess that's not a big deal. I just, I don't know, I've never seen this kind of system before. And it may not be a problem, but I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it is what it is, so. Um, and then they're gonna have, it looks like they're gonna have like another vent maybe in this room like a like maybe some sort of exhaust vent for the dryer maybe or the the washroom so like this is going to be the you know the mud room 
uh, all that kind of good stuff. <coughs> Still a closet, not really anything going in there or update anything. Here is the master bedroom. Uh, again, so that is a register, and then this is a return, which they're going to have, you know, a return in there, so, which is cool. Because it'll mean that our master bedroom is going to be nice and cool. Um, master bathroom. We've got the sink area. Uh, not really too much to update. Here's the walk-in shower. It's not massive or anything. Here's another vent that they're going to put in. Uh, hopefully it's going to be some sort of electrical system or doohickey. So... Let's move into the server room, which is going to be really cool. One thing I did not expect them to actually do is to put a register in here. So this room is going to be cooled for my servers, which is freaking awesome. The only thing I might do, uh, I don't know if I can ask them or maybe request it, is I'm wondering if I can have this be moved a little bit closer to where the server rack is going to be which is going to be right here okay so here's the outside uh this is underneath uh the back porch area so they've got some of the siding installed uh on the back here as far as the outside goes i don't really see too much that's an issue except for maybe some areas where they're going to need to seal up but i think they're you know still in the process of working on that so i'm not too worried about it right now um, so there, yeah, so there's the outside faucet there. The only thing that I was really concerned about, um, and they may just not be done yet, is that there's areas on this corner right here, uh, there, there, there's like no siding on it. It's just kind of sticking out with bare wood and it's completely open to the attic. Uh, but you know, there's, looks like they're pretty much done with the roof, um, not nothing to be concerned about there uh yeah i think that's about it for now um i'm probably going to come back next weekend a uh, weekend after to do some of that pvc stuff that i want to do just so i can run some lines and all of that um and then out here so this is the pad where the ac is going to go and then of course they've got the outlets uh, that go to the inside unit. Uh, Looks like we got a bird up there already trying to build a nest. That's great. Uh, so we're going to see how well this does with my headlamp. Uh, I'll turn it off. Well, it tries to pick up some stuff. Well, anyway, uh, so I've got some uh, conduit ran down the center right here. This is going to be for the entertainment center. And I drilled some holes along some of the bottom uh, braces or two by fours to run some speaker wire. Uh, if you go into the office, I've got uh, a uh, conduit there so that I have easy access of running some ethernet cable. And um, if you can see over here, I've got the uh, Got a little lamp going because I'm going to do one for the master uh, bedroom <clears throat> so that our TV is going to go along this wall or you know, we might put a desk there. I'm not totally sure yet. I was trying to show you guys that the uh, master bedroom in here, um, if in the future for some reason <clears throat> we end up having multiple kids, We'll have to use the office as a kid's room. So we were going to think about maybe putting a desk in the bedroom, which it would, it's probably either going to have to go here or in the future, I'm going to have to, or maybe come back and get some flexible conduit of some sort so I can run it from like an area right here. Cause this is about the only other place we could put a desk, uh, a computer desk. And because it's got one of those raised, indented ceilings where it's going to be you know flat right here it's going to go up a little bit then be flat again so i'm going to have to get <clears throat> some sort of uh, uh flexible conduit so i can run some ethernet down through the 
through the uh, wall there. Or maybe in the future, you know, maybe I could just, I don't know, you think I could fit my arms through there and just end up doing it maybe? I don't know. You know what I probably could do is go ahead and drill the hole and put a piece of conduit there. That way I at least know or can see where it is. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. Or maybe it'll just be something, whatever's right here. I could maybe run something along the ceiling to that location. Um, I don't know. I got to think about it. Anyways, uh, so while we've been gone um, on our vacation, they loaded up some sheetrock in here. Uh, they got a couple stacks of sheetrock. I don't think that's all of it. It might be. I don't know. It's a big, it's a lot of area they have to cover. So, um, yeah, um, I was just doing some things. And then over here I got uh, the, I got some speaker wire ran. That'll be ran inside the wall. It's 12 gauge, oxygen free, CL2 rated. Um, and then in the future, uh, like later on down the line, because I'm not worried about it, I don't, I won't have to run in between, you know, two by fours. I'll, for the speakers that are going outside, I'll run some more wire. <clears throat> but that's not all that important right now. So now I'm just going to clean up my stuff and head back home. Okay, so I'm back at the house after a couple of days. Uh, they've done the electrical. Um, it looks like they've ran uh, a plug for the TV and then a plug down there for the bottom. Uh, there's more freaking outlets in this house than I think we're gonna know what to do with so like for instance over here in the office They've got two on each wall So we were thinking about putting a desk here and a desk here and there's plenty of plugs You know, there's two more there um, This bedroom uh, There's one two three four five six plugs in here uh, Quite, quite amazing how many plugs they actually put. Oh, look, they got one in the hallway. <coughs> There's another one in the hallway. Um, I guess that side. Uh, a light switch, I'm guessing, for. I'm not sure about this. Light switch jump from red three. Not sure what that means. Maybe it's an on-off switch for the, because it's connected. I don't know. Um, we'll figure it out later. Uh, I've got some plugs here. This is where the bathroom or the sink is. So there's one here. I'm guessing this is a light switch. Bathroom. Now there's no light over here. Well, that kind of, that's interesting. There's no light up there anywhere. I don't know if they're going to come back and add one. It looks like maybe that'll be like a light of some sort. Um, event light combo. <clears throat> there's two on this wall. One, two, one, two, one, two. So there's six in this one. The light switch. I'll let, they're going to put a light in the closet. That's, that's good. It looks like there's a light in every closet closet so that's nice um, yeah okay so anyway I'm jumping back to the entertainment center so yeah they got a plug for the bottom a plug for the top where the TV is gonna go uh, so that's cool they also ran coax which I guess it's just something standard they do but out here we can't get cable we're gonna have to go with point-to-point -point wireless or you know like Starlink or something like that in the future um, so yeah, they just, they installed a whole bunch of, uh, plugs everywhere. There's going to be a counter here for the kitchen. Um, more, you know, more plugs. Uh, they've got, uh, the stove, stove wiring right there. Um, micro HR. Yeah, that's for the microwave plug up there. Um, so, oh, and then they ran the doorbell wire. They ran the doorbell wire into up here at the top. I guess that's where they're going to put the doorbell. Uh, 
<clears throat> which is fine. Then I guess the thermostat's gonna be there, uh, which I've already said. Oh, and then we've got puck lights everywhere. Well, I say everywhere, but where the indented areas. I haven't, I actually didn't check on the dining room. Did they put puck lights in the dining? Yeah, they did. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I'm not sure why they have different boxes. Maybe they ran out and are gonna come back and redo it. So, of course, you know, in the living room, I'm gonna be getting some really high powered lights that are gonna be dimmable. So that'll be good. Like some Wi-Fi controlled lights. Uh, and then over here in my uh, server room, they put a plug down here. So this will be my closet slash server room. So um, it'll look completely different once you know, it's up and going. Got a light switch there. So yeah, and then I'm guessing because and I know y'all can't see it, but out towards that way is where our tower is going to go for our internet. So it'll be really easy to run the connection in on this side. So that's about all the electrical updates for now. Um, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty much it. And there's, you know, wow, there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plugs in the master bedroom. You know what I didn't check is if they put any in the pantry, which I doubt they did, but I guess it may not be that big of a deal. Um, I don't know, I can add it later if I want to, I suppose. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of for now. Um, I'm gonna end it here. Oh, and then they installed the doors. So this is our front door. Uh, back door is just a regular door. Um, yeah, that's it.